You've been on my mind I grow fonder Every day Lose myself in time Just thinking Of your face God only knows Why it's taken me so long To let my doubts go You're the only one that I want I don't know why I'm so happy this day is finally here um, I love you David so much uh, we've been together for 21 years and we will have many, many more in the future. I'm so happy that I can be with you every day of my life. And simply be I see trees of green, red roses too. I see them bloom for me and you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. I see skies of blue, clouds of white. Bright blessed day, the dark sacred night, and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Welcome everyone, you may be seated. We are here with expectation and love for these two people to witness their union and marriage. This celebration is the outward sign of an inward union of hearts. It is a union created by loving purpose and kept by abiding will. I welcome and thank you all for gathering here to witness Stephanie and David's marriage ceremony. Many of you have traveled a distance to be here today and it is a testament to the amount of love, support, happiness, warmth, and guidance you have all chosen to share with these two people.
Friedrich Nietzsche said, the best friend is likely to acquire the best wife because a good marriage is based on the talent for friendship. Now, I gotta admit, I'm not one to take German philosophy on love too seriously. But I think Nietzsche was referring to people like Stephanie and David. Today I want to discuss an element of marriage that's often overlooked. Something inside us all that deserves hard work and practice. Intuition. Intuition is a cornerstone of friendship and of love. When I first met Stephanie and David, it was clear that the power of intuition in a relationship was staring me straight in the face. For Stephanie and David, intuition did not appear to be hard work. In fact, for most of us, while the act of trusting an inner voice might take all of our listening skills, it's as if when Stephanie and David met, their inner voices were singing and shouting at them very loudly. How else would one explain 21 years of this adventure without intuition? Nikki Giovanni, an American poet said, we love because it is the only true adventure. David said to me, we've experienced everything together and marriage was a remaining unexplored adventure. Stephanie and David have both said that this is the most significant relationship of their entire lives. Can you imagine a more intuitive approach to marriage after 21 years than as an unexplored adventure? Theirs was an instant and profound friendship. Stephanie gave David the down-to-earth character and partnership he had never known in a woman, and David gave Stephanie a presence. He wants to be here, Stephanie told me. This is a team. Every sixth of the month, this team pulls together to celebrate an anniversary after 21 years. Uprooting and setting out on their hero's journey, their adventure to California took an incredible team. And it took intuition. So here we are. One more adventure. Certainly not the last. This is not by any means a traditional marriage. And by historical and global standards, to me there is no such thing as a traditional marriage. Today we do not celebrate the story of a religious denomination, a government, a definition of marriage by culture, orientation, or any sociological means. Today we are telling Stephanie and David's love story. In this event, we are gathered to acknowledge the true marriage which already dwells within them. If this is what the true adventure of love looks like, then David and Stephanie, I too wish to be, as they have put it, too normal for the weirdos and too weird for the normals. I wanted to share with you all this reading that I, I thought captured David and Stephanie. Their love has been built on a profound friendship over many years, and for them, today, marriage is a reward after a long journey of two souls partnered as a team. This is from Song of the Open Road by Walt Whitman. Allons, the road is before us. It is safe. I have tried it. My own feet have tried it well. Be not detained. Let the paper remain on the desk unwritten and the book on the shelf unopened. Let the tools remain in the workshop. Let the money remain unearned. Let the school stand. Mind not the cry of the teacher. 
Let the preacher preach in his pulpit, let the lawyer plead in court, and the judge expound the law. Comrade, I give you my hand. I give you my love, more precious than money. I give you myself before preaching the law. Will you give me yourself? Will you come travel with me? Shall we stick by each other as long as we both shall live? We have joined here together to unite Stephanie and David in the institution of marriage. This is a sacred right and it's an ancient right. To be a real sustaining pledge of devotion, there must be a consecration of each to the other and of both to the noblest ends of life. David and Stephanie, will you please face each other and join hands. David, will you take this woman whose hands you hold, choosing her alone to be your wedded wife? Will you live with her in the state of true matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her through good times and bad, in sickness and in health, honor her at all times, and be faithful to her? I sure do. <laughs> Stephanie, will you take this man whose hands you hold, choosing him alone to be your wedded husband? Will you live with him in the state of true matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him through good times and bad, in sickness and in health, honor him at all times, and be faithful to him? I will. Now David and Stephanie will celebrate today's union as it is symbolized through the pouring of two individual containers of sand. One represents Stephanie and all that you are, all that you were, and all that you will ever be. The other represents David and all that you were, all that you are, and all that you will ever be. As the two individual vials of sand are poured into the third vase, the individual containers of sand cease to exist as they are now joined as one. Just as these grains of sand can never be separated and poured again into the individual vases, so will the love and bond between you render you both inseparable. David and Stephanie, with the mixing of these grains of sand, you have now symbolically joined your once separate lives. As your two lives have been inseparably combined, so now are your friends and family joined through you into one. As your once individual paths are also now one, so will your marriage be a molding of two individual personalities bonded together, forming one heart and one life. I would now like to welcome Beth and Michelle. The greatest gift on a wedding day is family standing by your side. And today, for David and Stephanie, family means strength. Beth and Michelle will now present the rings.
The wedding ring traditionally is a symbol of the unbroken circle of love as it has neither a beginning nor an end. It should always remind those who wear it of the sacredness of marriage and the love that feeds it. Now as a token of your love and your deep desire to be forever united in heart and soul, you, Stephanie, may place a ring on the finger of your groom. Stephanie, do you give this ring as a symbol of your love and faithfulness to David? By the same token, David, you may place a ring on the finger of your bride. Do you give this ring as a symbol of your love and faithfulness to Stephanie? Love freely given has no beginning and no end. May these rings always remind you of the vows you've taken. As you take these rings, I would have you remember that to love is to come together from the pathways of your past and move forward hand in hand along the uncharted roads of your future, ready to risk, to dream, and to dare, and always believe that all things are possible with faith and love in each other. David and Stephanie have demonstrated in your presence today their belief in their love and their desire to live together in matrimony. If you also believe in their love and wish to add your blessing on their marriage today, please respond now by saying, we do. We, do. we are on the beach. You're going to have to do a lot better than that. I'll give you one more opportunity. Are you willing to sustain and strengthen this marriage by giving David and Stephanie the public commitment of your love and support through all the ups and downs ahead of them. If you are willing, please say, we are. We are. We are. All right. <laughs> this is called I Will Be Here by Stephen Curtis Chapman. If in the morning when you wake, if the sun does not appear, I will be there. If in the dark we lose sight of love, hold my hand and have no fear, I will be here. I will be here when you feel like being quiet, when you need to speak your mind, I will listen. Through the winning, losing, and trying, we'll be together and I will be here. If in the morning when you awake, if the future is unclear, I will be here. As sure as seasons were made for change, our lifetimes were made for years. I will be here. Stephanie and David have chosen each other in love and in freedom, and they have declared their purpose before this gathering. They have made their pledges to one another. By the authority vested in me by the state of California and those attendant, I now pronounce David and Stephanie husband and wife. You may kiss. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I now introduce to you for the first time, David and Stephanie Hudak. No combination of words I could put on the back of a postcard No song that I can sing but I can try for your heart Our dreams, and they are made out of real things Like a shoebox of photographs with sepia tone all up in Love is the answer at least for most of the questions in my heart Like why are we here and where do we go and how come it's so hard It's not always easy and sometimes life could be deceiving I tell you one thing, it's always better when we're together Yeah, it's always better when we're together Mmm, we look at them stars and we're together Oh, it's always better when we're together Oh, it's always better when we're together All of these moments just might find their way into my dreams tonight 
But I know that they'll be gone When the morning light sings and brings new things But tomorrow night you'll see That they'll be gone too Too many things I have to do But if all of these dreams might find their way into my day-to-day -day scene I'd be under the impression I was somewhere in between with only two Just me and you Not so many things we got to do Oh, places we got to be We'll sit beneath the mango tree now It's always better when we're together mm, We're somewhere in between together Oh, it's always better when we're together Yeah, it's always better when we're together Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh. oh I believe in memories, they look so, so pretty when I sleep at night And when I wake up, they look so pretty sleeping next to me But there is not enough time, and there is no, no song I could sing And there is no combination of words I could say, but I was still Tell you one thing, we're better together Looks that had me blind It's gonna be a bright, bright sunshine day It's gonna be a bright Bright sunshine day. I think I can make it now. Things go. All of my bad feelings have disappeared. Here is that rainbow I've been praying for. It's gonna be a bright, bright, sunshiny day It's gonna be a bright, bright, sunshiny day When I look all around you, it's nothing but blue sky And now the rain's gone I'm so happy and honored, Dave, that you asked me to be your best woman, and I'm, I'm just very happy for you guys. Congratulations for getting married. We love you and we thank you for allowing us to be part of your special day. Dave, thank you for sharing this day with us. Stephanie, thank you. You guys were awesome. Stephanie, you are, you've been one of the best friends that I've ever had, and this has been a really beautiful moment, and we're really thankful to share it with you. Hi, Stephanie and Dave. Um, just want to say that um, you are two of my favorite people, m one of my favorite couples. Um, I wish you a lifetime of happiness, love, peace, blessings, fun, and trips to Baltimore. <laughs> Congratulations. Um, I have some great memories of going to Coachella with you and hanging out with you and Tara. Uh, maybe we do it again sometime. It's beautiful out here. I'd love to move out here. Maybe I can convince Tara. That didn't fall down and kill anybody during the wedding. I could hear you guys, so good job. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. No, I'm just kidding, but uh, congratulations. I was tearing up a little bit during the wedding. It really touched me, but I'm really happy for you guys, and uh, enjoy your at-home honeymoon. In every way And forevermore that's how you stay. That's why, darling, it's incredible that someone so unforgettable thinks that I am unforgettable too. <laughs>
way And forevermore That's how you stay That's why, darling It's incredible That someone so unforgettable Thinks that I am